All right, guys, welcome back to the garage. Welcome to the channel. So we're in the garage. This is my Tesla Model Y. This is my 2022 Tesla Model Y long range. Uh, I also have a Model S. And guys, I want to talk about charging because I was talking with my buddy the other day. My buddy's kind of looking into buying a Tesla. And when you're on the Tesla website looking at like new vehicles, there's the options. If you scroll down to look at, it shows you the optional chargers. So you can buy what they call the mobile connector or the Tesla wall connector. Wall connectors uh, 475 mobile connectors, $230. So one's, one's double the price of the other one. So I want to talk about what the difference between the mobile connector and the wall connector. Okay guys. So in my garage, I have both, I have both the mobile connector and I have the wall connector. So I want to talk to you about my experience, why you'd want one over the other, which one you should choose with, you know, how, how it works with Tesla's because as it states on the Tesla website, no home charging equipment is included. So, if you're going to charge at home, which I highly recommend doing, that's the whole benefit of having a Tesla is being able to keep your car charged at home. It's always it's always uh, full. You don't have to worry about going to a gas station or a charging station. Just charging at home makes it a lot easier. This is the Tesla wall connector. This is not plugged into an outlet. This is hardwired into the wall. There's a six gauge wire. Uh, it's actually a six two wire. So there's two six gauge connectors with the ground that's coming directly from my electrical box through the wall inside of here and it's hooked up. You can see it's got a green light. This has Wi-Fi connectivity so you can connect to it. You can adjust some settings with it. You can also hook up multiple connectors on the same circuit and have them load share and power share. So if you're only running, only have one circuit available, you can have multiple connector, wall connectors available and connected and they'll be able to share the power load and you know, adjust their amperage so they're not overload, overloading the circuit. So there's some benefits to this. This also, guys, this looks this looks really clean. I don't I didn't want to have any kind of conduit. I didn't want to have conduit running around. I, I I went through the hassle of running the wire in through the wall, up to the ceiling on my attic, down into my electrical panel, because I wanted to have a really clean installation. This looks I think this looks really good on the wall here. So this is the most expensive option. And this charges your car, you know, depending on, on how the settings are, this is on a, a 50 amp breaker it's going to charge between like 25 to 35 miles of range per hour into the car depending on what the state of the battery is so it's a, this is a good option for charging but this is this you can't take with you if you if you want to have charging abilities in your car when you're on the road let's say you're going to say a family's house you know uh, 500 miles away and you're going on a road trip and you want to plug in at their house if they don't have one of these, you're not going to be able to charge there. You're going to, you're going to need the mobile connector. And so I want to talk about that next. Okay, guys, so that's the wall connector. Let's talk about the mobile connector. The mobile connector is half the price, and this is what you get with the mobile connector. Now, I ordered my, this Model Y in 2021. Back in 2021 and older Teslas, they came with this. Now you have to pay for it. So that's kind of a bummer now you have to pay for it. But at least, you know, it's 230 bucks. This is the way to go if you just want kind of the cheapest charging solution for your car. Here's what you get. Let me show you exactly what you get with the mobile charging uh, unit. So you get a little, it, it's basically just an extension cord for your charger. The charger for the car is on board. So the charger's on board. All this does is put power into the charger. So mine, I have two different connectors. This is the NEMA 1450. This is like a dryer plug outlet that this would plug into. This disconnects. And if I need to, I can plug into a regular wall outlet. This is just a regular, you know, um, 15 amp wall, wall outlet you'd have in your house or your garage. This can plug into this box here and you have this. So it's almost like a big lap, laptop charger es essentially is, is what this is. So this is going to be the faster charging option. So the NEMA 1450 option. And then it has just the regular handle, same as the wall connector with how it works. Let me show you where, how this plugs in into the wall. Okay, this is my NEMA 1450 plug. When I first got my Tesla, I had an electrician wire this in. I think that, I think I paid like $400 to have an electrician come wire this. This is the same as a dryer plug, but the type of plug this is, it's called the NEMA 14-50. And normally these are a 50 amp load, so they're on a 50 amp breaker. And this plug just would simply plug into here. You can see, and then this lights up, and then you can charge your car. This charges, if this is on a 50 amp breaker and the wall connector is on a 50 amp breaker, they, they're going to charge the car at the same speed. You don't get any faster speeds with the wall connector. So that's the point of the video is this is a perfectly good solution to charging your car at home. All right, so the reason why I installed the wall connector when I already had this was 
I didn't pay for this. This came with the car, so that was that was a good benefit. But also, this is the front of the Model Y right here. The charging port is on the driver's side rear. This was as far over as my electrician would install the plug because right here, my house ends. This is my patio out here, and they had to come in from the basement, run up through here. And he's like, yeah, without like a lot of modification, this is about as far over as we can get. So just to show you how this looks when I'm charging here. So this is kind of what this looks like when you're charging it. So to charge, you just push this button on here. It opens the flap. When it's white, you just insert it in and it's charging. But you can kind of see here how the, the plug just hanging from the wall here. I have this whole length of cord. And then when I'm done charging, I push the button. It's white. I'm able to pull out the connector here. I've got to store the plug over th this, this, this plug over here. And it, it, I don't like the, I didn't like the look of this of this cable just laying on the ground. So uh, that's why I that's why I installed this wall connector right here. So if you're going to install a wall connector, I say do it as close to the back of the car as possible. So that way, I always just kind of leave it wound up like this. I just take the plug out and it goes right into the car right here, and the cord's not hanging on the ground. It looks nice and neat. Uh, it's not a trip hazard or anything. This just doesn't, this just didn't look good. And so that's why I installed this. But each of these options, the wall connector or the mobile charger, are going to charge the car really about at the same rate. Okay, so the reason why I probably recommend going with the, this mobile connector first is I always keep this in my car because if I'm traveling, if I'm on a road, let's say for some reason I run out of battery and there's an there's a regular wall outlet somewhere i could plug this in my car into the regular wall outlet and get you know a couple miles of range in, a, in an hour or so just to get me down the road uh my wall connector i can't take that with me and so i would i, I always say, i would always recommend you know i was talking to my buddy and i say i would recommend getting this first this is 230 bucks and then hiring a electrician to come out and wire the NEMA 1450 plug in your garage somewhere. Now this is at the front of my car. That's it. Still works. The, as you saw, the cord is long enough. So as long as it's somewhere near the car on the driver's side, this will work just fine. And you have the the ability to switch out plugs. You can switch. You can switch to the the NEMA 1450 plug, or if you need to trickle charge it on the regular household outlet, you can do that as well. Okay, so I would recommend just starting with this mobile connector. Start with that first. Just see how it works for you. It's probably going to work just fine. Like, there's probably not going to be any issues. Um, I picked up the wall connector just because I thought it, it looked a lot better. It's kind of a cleaner installation. Um, I like the look of it, and I want to be able to keep my mobile connector with me in the car whenever I'm traveling, so that way I don't have to, like, unplug this from the wall, take it with me. So just another option, but this is probably the best option to start off with. And then as you get used to your Tesla, as you, you know, have it longer, you can decide whether or not you'd want to up do the, um, the wall connector. Okay, one last point I want to make is both of these solutions, you're going to have to hire an electrician or if you have any experience doing it yourself. I actually installed this myself. I'll leave a link to the video I did on installing this. It really wasn't that hard. Running the wire is the hardest part. But either way, if you get the mobile, if you get the mobile charger, you're still going to have to, or the mobile connector, you're, gonna, you're still gonna have to hire an electrician to get you the plug in your wall. If you buy this, you're gonna have to hire an electrician to install this, and the installation's probably gonna be about the same. So this is double the cost initially to buy. This is half of the cost of that one. But the installation at your house is probably going to be about the same on either one of them. So you can kind of make that decision, decision for yourself. One last thing I want to say about the wall connector is this is, this is also a probably a more weatherproof uh, option. So let's say if you're parking your car outside and you need to have your charger outside, this thing's, this thing's weatherproof, so it can be rain, snow, you know, sun, whatever, whatever it might be, cold temperatures. This can withstand those, those kind of elements. And so this might be the option if you're going to install something outside, maybe on the outside of your house, outside on a pole or something. This is going to be the option versus doing the uh, plug because the plug's kind of exposed. I really wouldn't trust that outside. So I'd say if you're going to do an outside application, go with this. This is going to be the better option there. All right, guys, hopefully you found this informational or helpful, especially when you're looking for a Tesla or electric car for the first time. Having the home charging option really is a great choice. I mean, the, the, the nice thing about these cars is you pull them in the garage, you keep them plugged in, you always keep the battery. I always keep my batteries at like 80%. I don't charge 100%. I keep them at 80% because it helps 
it really helps with the life of the battery if you're not charging to 100% all the time. But my cars are always plugged in all the time when I'm at home. When I'm when I'm at home, they're plugged in, so they're always at 80%. I never have to worry about the battery. I never have to worry about range. I never have to worry about charging. I never have to worry about going to a gas station or a charging station. It's just that's the best thing about Tesla. So if you're buying one, invest in the mobile connector or the wall connector, and it's just going to make your charging and your Tesla experience a lot easier and a lot helpful. So guys, thanks for watching the video. Leave your comments down below. I'm curious about your uh, thoughts about the two, which one you choose. Uh, be sure to hit that thumbs up button, subscribe, and we'll see you in the next video. Thanks.